I'd like to get the, the record set straight on that whole Christmas caroling thing that happened then many years ago because I was just reflecting on how when we went out Christmas caroling how that kind of precipitated all this 25 years ago thing that happened. Well, if you so recall, can you, I was can you wearing, set the record straight? I was wearing a leather jacket I purchased down there in Tijuana and um, I thought I I looked right presentable. I thought I was I was fetching and all. And I think that's when I caught the little Mrs. I. I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was it was it the was older Lisa. sister who must have put We're the word out her. that I was available. The vibe was so strong that she had to carry the word back. Well, well these, they came the, back. The, they came these, back from Caroline and said, "Oh, that kid, guy Michael was asking about you. What about kept him? pestering us? Chris, Hispanic <laughs> girls are partial to the smell of leather." Especially that jet <laughs> leather. It comes from working around the upholstery shops in all the oh. <laughs> So then we came back and we told you dump that C buck. Dump Chris. Yeah. That Michael seems like a nice guy. Well, so then what happened? Did you call him up and, and ask him for a date or no, how how that how that all get together? <laughs> <coughs> How'd that happen then? It, it took her quite a while to wise up on the ways of the of the cheapskate Buckley. After a, a few trips to the Red Roof and, and the Golden Arches, I think I think she wised up that there was some better fixings out there to be had. But she was somewhat, you know, going steady, so to speak, with... She had a steady bow. So then, how did that happen? And but she where got she, tired you know, you of could... riding on the bus. Oh. Go out on the day because he was too cheap <laughs> to put any gas in his car. I never rode on the bus on the day. So you were so you impressed her with your with your ride. Well, she liked my triple white convertible Volkswagen and all. Wasn't that bought over in Germany or something like that? There was an elderly couple who I purchased the vehicle from who had bought it. Directly from the common factory in Wispo, Germany. <laughs> they put it on a boat, brought it over to the U.S. of A. You're and then I bought like it. <laughs> so now, how many years were you were you two uh, lovebirds uh, dating each other before you tied the knot? We were dating approximately one a and a half years. A year and a half, half to the day. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. how did she ask you to get hitched? How did that work? Hmm. Well, actually, I, I asked her to be hitched. We okay. were on the Queen Mary, and we were circling the boat and all, and every time I would just be getting ready to to propose the question to her, another couple would walk by. Finally, I just blurted out to her, so will you marry me? Her response to that is, are you kidding? <laughs> I said, well, I know I, I wouldn't joke about a thing like that. I wouldn't say, will you marry me? And then you say, yes. And then I say, I was just joking. Boo you. So, so <clears throat> again, she replied, are you kidding? <laughs> so uh, I had to explain it again to her that, no, I was serious. With Maybe that's because small. you didn't get down and on your then, knee and you didn't and have then, a ring. <laughs> well, you see, the way I was raised, you don't beg no woman to marry you. If she doesn't know she done hit the jackpot, if the IRS isn't right there making her fill out the forms and all, well then, if she needs more convincing than that, uh, that, that ain't the type of woman you want to marry. But then, after her second are you kidding response, she finally re replied, well, in that case, yes. Believe <laughs> 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 father looked at him, he told her, don't marry him, he's a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what exactly is your uh, association with the Nazi party anyways? Well, I'm it a... It was a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> your love of the Volkswagen. <laughs> and a square head. Uh, it is true, my head is perfectly square. <laughs> if, if you were to put me in a corner and then... Pull my head back out, it would make a sound kind of like this. <laughs> From the vacuum and all created. We'll have to try that sometime. Well, I just want to thank you for letting us to film this and get uh, the record set straight. This is a closing uh, of this episode of Setting the Record Straight. I'm sure we'll be back again What's for another time. Today? 
Today is December 29th, 2009. And I do believe it's your 35th wedding anniversary. So no, it's congrats. my 20th. <laughs> but you told me it felt like 35. I thought maybe it was the... No, no. it feels like 250. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's only a tortoise lives that long, but it feels that way. All right, then. We're going to cut that off right there.